Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. All right, so we are doing a side-by-side. Old Tub and Jim Beam Repeal. They are both kind of nostalgia of different eras in the Jim Beam line. So Old Tub was the first, is a ode to the first batch after Prohibition from Jim Beam. And then Repeal is going all the way back to, um, it's a tribute to the start of their heritage at, at Jim Beam. I think you switched those for... No, I didn't. Yes. Repeal. Is the, f- is the first batch of bourbon. Repeal is a repeal of Prohibition. Right, because they... So it was their first batch after, after Prohibition. Prohibition. And this one's before... Right, this, this is their original. An, uh, a nod to their... Their new... Their, their old very old brands their original brands so they're both uh limited releases from jim beam limited edition this one was last year or 2018 i think 2018 um this one was this year i think it was 2019 i don't remember i thought it said on there maybe i'm wrong Hmm. no i don't know I don't know. You can still find it on the shelves quite often. Yeah, we see it around. It's it's pretty much it's everywhere. It's under 20 bucks. Same as this one. This one's everywhere right now. Old it's Tub not is... in this bottle. No. It's in a taller one like this, but rounder. Yeah. This one know. was one of the, before it went nationwide, we got it at a party it's source. Kind of, kind of like a rolling fork from... Mm-hmm. Kind of, that's like from this, um, yeah. but, Well, this is obviously this is from. This, but with that label. Right. So, uh, I actually like this bottle better. I just like, I love 375s. Yeah. So, Old Tub is an ode to their 1940s. Um, it's 75% corn, 13% rye, 12% malted barley, aged four years. Um, a 750 goes msrp around i'm sorry srp i always say msrp because it's michigan it's the same thing but um so srp is 22.99 for a 750 um so repeal is 18 dollars for srp well this one's bottled in bonds i I just feel like it's going to be a little bit more quality so this is 100 proof this is 86 so Essentially, both of them, they're both non-chill filtered. They're both aged for four years. So it's Beam just at different parts in its in its storyline, I guess. Not really whiskey from back then. It's just no to commemorate it. Right. So there, it's a commemoration of the start and then after Prohibition. So Repeal so, came out after when Prohibition started, 120 days after Prohibition was enacted. It was repealed, and Jim Beam came out with this as a 120 days after Prohibition was enacted, it was repealed. No, Prohibition lasted for like 17 years. Well, the, I understand. I know, but it oh, said gosh. like, I think it says it on here. It's the 85th yeah. anniversary to the. So the I'm repeal. sorry. So he. He rebuilt and restocked, like they rebuilt themselves in 120 days. There we go. Sorry. So it was 120 days after Prohibition you had started. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it was 120 days after Prohibition had ended that it was repealed and they wanted to put out something. So that's this is what they did. Um, so this is an ode to what was put out after Prohibition. So going back to that time. So that's kind of their older stuff this is like one of their first after he had first started his distillery so old tub goes way way back (laughs) um and you said 1940 something earlier but you were wrong wasn't it 18 something no 
old tub is a nod to where it all began in 1940. But this is like, this is distilled since 1795. That's so, when Jim Beam started distilling, 1795. Right. But anyways, um, this is 86 proof. This is 100 proof. These are both pretty much non-chill filtered white label Jim Beam, maybe from different parts of the warehouses. This one's bottled and bond, so there's all the strict requirements for that one. But 86 proof Jim Beam, I didn't mind this for $18. I don't like it. It's a vanilla, slight Jim Beam funkiness. It doesn't have the main Jim Beam funkiness, which is weird to say that because of the non chilled filtered. Feel like maybe they get that from chill filtering. I don't know. How do you feel about old tub? Um, for what it is, it's spicy. It's got some nice oaky notes in it. Chari. I mean, it's got a little bit of everything going for it, but it's all very soft and it's very muted. But it's good for what it is, and for twenty three dollars, I mean, shoot. They're both not bad. I actually think. I'd go with a repeal batch on it. I don't know. That's tough. I usually like the higher proof, but I feel like the repeal batch has a little more flavor. This is more spice. I like the smell of Old Tub. I like the taste of repeal. I'm definitely going to go with you on taste for that one. Smell? I didn't even smell it. That one's just weird to me. Yeah, it does smell weird. It's funky and tannicky and I'm mm, 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 not a fan. I'm not a huge fan of Jim Beam's lower proof, younger no. stuff. Even 100 proof, I say that's lower proof compared to like Booker's and Knob Creek's. That's yeah. lower age compared to Knob Creek for sure. I mean, it's just, there's something about Jim Beam that's just weird and odd to me. But once it gets, you know, six, eight, nine, ten, twelve years on it, and you, especially like bookers and stuff, you get so much flavor. And they're like, also picked from certain spots in the yeah. warehouse and specially selected. And so, I mean, it's just, and I know that there's huge, drastic, dramatic differences all over the warehouse, all over the different bottles and stuff. But I mean, I just personally, I'm not a huge fan of the lower shelf Jim Beam stuff. It's just yeah. too funky for me. Even not Creek I Nine, I can't really do anymore. Yeah, the Twelve is delicious, but what do you do? I'm excited to get rid of this bottle. I had a sample set aside, just <laughs> so you could blind me on it, but it's been like a year. So I decided to do a side. So by many side. other wonderful yeah. things have come out, John. I don't know what you want me to tell you. So overall, though, what do you think? Which one? I'd I'd go repeal because I don't plan on buying another old tub. I don't either. I don't also plan on buying another repeal, but <laughs> for around 20 or just under, I'd say both are worth a shot if you want to try them. Yeah, try them out if you like Jim Beam products for sure. There you have it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.